for the past year and a half, we've been excavating deep in the Valley of the Kings. This stretch of desert, with its jagged cliffs and hidden passageways, has been home to some of the most astonishing archaeological finds in human history. Pharaohs, queens, and nobles of Egypt's Golden Age were buried here, and yet, after thousands of years of digging, scanning, and exploring, the valley still refuses to give up all its secrets. It started with a simple sketch. A faded drawing, made by an ancient workman, showing what looked like a passage with multiple rooms. And at the end, a burial chamber. For decades, nobody thought much of it. Just another fragment, another dusty record. Until now. Because when ground-penetrating radar was brought into this part of the valley, the results didn't match anything we'd seen before. Ground-penetrating radar works by sending electromagnetic pulses into the earth and analyzing what bounces back. Normally, the readouts are messy. Natural limestone cracks appear as wandering lines, ancient flood channels show up as curves and depressions filled with debris. Instead of chaos, the radar showed perfect geometry. Straight edges. Clean corners. Angles so precise, they looked carved with tools. Not by nature but by human hands. You see, Egyptian burials from this period almost never contained raw iron. Gold, silver, bronze, yes. But iron? That was rarer than gold itself, often called metal from the heavens because it only came from meteorites. The mood in the field station changed instantly. Skepticism gave way to whispers, and whispers turned into cautious excitement. Someone cross-checked the coordinates against every mapped tomb in the Valley of the Kings. Nothing matched. This location was supposed to be sterile bedrock. Yet here it was, a chamber that shouldn't exist. Mon imaging was the first. Cosmic rays, born from exploding stars, constantly rain down on Earth. They pass through solid rock, but when they hit empty spaces, their movement changes. Using this effect, scientists can essentially x-ray entire mountains. It's the same technology that revealed hidden chambers inside the Great Pyramid of Giza. Next came artificial intelligence. Machine learning algorithms sifted through thousands of radar scans, distinguishing natural fissures from human-made structures. AI doesn't get fooled by irregular limestone, it looks for mathematical precision, right angles, parallel walls, symmetrical proportions. The unmistakable fingerprint of deliberate construction. Finally, hyperspectral drones flew over the valley at night. By reading subtle temperature differences and mineral signatures, they detected where ancient mortar and cut limestone lay buried beneath the surface. Three independent technologies. Three confirmations of the same result. A chamber, hidden in the bedrock, with artificial geometry and metallic contents. At this point, the archaeologists realized they were staring at something that might rival Howard Carter's discovery of Tutankhamun's tomb in 1922. Where is the tomb of Queen Nefertiti, the most famous royal woman of Egypt? Where is Ramesses VI, whose reign is well documented but whose burial has never been found? What about the queens and princesses of the late 18th dynasty, royal women who vanished from the archaeological record? The Valley of the Kings has been ravaged by flash floods throughout history. These weren't gentle rains, they were catastrophic torrents, ripping through the valley with walls of mud and stone. Some tombs were destroyed. Others were accidentally sealed, entombed beneath hardened flood debris. Now, geological surveys show that this newly detected chamber lies beneath layers of ancient flood deposits. Which means, it too may have been sealed off by nature, completely hidden since the day it was built. Imagine, an intact royal tomb, untouched for three thousand years, its treasures and secrets preserved not by guards, but by the valley's own violent weather. Radar doesn't take photos, it measures reflections. And when it hits metal, the signal is unmistakable. The density variations in this chamber didn't look like scattered burial goods. They looked concentrated. Strong. And remember, during the New Kingdom, iron was considered divine, a gift from the heavens, because it came from meteorites. If the chamber truly contains significant iron artifacts, this discovery could rewrite what we know about Egyptian technology, ritual, and belief. A discovery like this could reshape timelines, clarify succession disputes, 
and reveal details about religion and politics that ancient texts only hint at. Every artifact, every hieroglyph, every fragment of burial goods could give us new insight into how Egypt's most powerful rulers lived, and how they wanted to be remembered. And yet, the dilemma remains, to open, or not to open. Some argue that disturbing a sealed chamber risks contamination, collapse, or irreversible damage. Others believe that knowledge locked away helps no one, that we must uncover the past to understand our present. So here we stand. A chamber hidden beneath the Valley of the Kings, confirmed by three independent technologies, showing metallic reflections that don't belong. A space that doesn't appear on any map, in a location thought to be empty rock. Before you go, I want to hear from you, if you had the chance to open this chamber, would you do it? Or should some mysteries remain untouched forever? Let me know in the comments. And don't forget, subscribe for more real discoveries and mysteries science is actually solving right now. Because the Valley of the Kings may still hold secrets that will change history.